guys welcome back to my channel thank you so much for stopping by i hope everyone's staying safe and doing great so as you can tell from the title today i'm making some stewie jamaican style so if you're interested in seeing how i make it stay tuned let's go What's going on in the kitchen in the kitchen in the kitchen in the kitchen not much is going on in this kitchen yet but it's about to go down guys i haven't had stew beef in so long i can't even remember the last time i had it anyways i'm so excited for this dish so i got the beef at my local costco but you can purchase it at any grocery store basically it's just stew beef beef for stewing okay here i have all my dry ingredients i have my black pepper my all-purpose seasoning my salt uh, I have some thyme leaves because I didn't have any fresh thyme. Fresh is always better, but I have some there. And I have browning, which I will add later on when, uh, when I marinate. As you can see, I also have some carrots, sweet peppers, hot pepper, scallion, onion, and garlic there as well, which I'll be using later on. So I'm basically just seasoning the meat with all the dry ingredients. So the salt, the pepper, the all-purpose seasoning. Um, that's exactly what I'm doing right now. I'm gonna allow it to actually sit and marinate after I've added the garlic, some onions, and some peppers. I'm just using my martyr right now to grind out the garlic and I'm adding it to the mixture and I'm gonna allow it to sit maybe for an hour or so usually I marinate my meat overnight but didn't have the time to do that today so we're just gonna let it sit for about an hour in which uh, after the hour is done then I'm going to be adding the browning and I'll show you guys how I add the browning but I'm just basically adding my onions and all of that good stuff to the meat right now Now that I've added um, my dry ingredients and my fresh ingredients, I'm just now mixing it, giving it a good mix. This is what it looks like. So all the pieces are basically coated with all the good stuff. I'm gonna, like I said, put it away for about an hour and let it marinate. In the meantime, you see I have my carrot and my sweet pepper. This will be added the later part of uh, me cooking the meal. So I'm just going to be dicing up onions, uh, sorry, I'm just going to be dicing up my carrot and my sweet pepper and this is just for extra flavor and also to help thicken the gravy, okay? I do not add any flour or anything else to my gravy to make it thick. I usually just add veggies and it does the trick for me. So that's what I'm doing right now, I'm just preparing it. Alright, so I got my pot on the stove, it's on high, I'm going to get my oil, add it to the pot, uh, you can use olive oil or vegetable oil, alright. The meat smelled so good, you can smell all the seasoning, like it wasn't even cooking, it smelled that good, okay? <laughs> I was getting so excited. All right, so this is when I add the browning. After the hour, now I add the browning. You have to be very careful with it because it can make the meat really, really dark, okay? So I suggest you use a spoonful, and if you need to add more, then you can add more, or even half of a spoon, okay? And then you can just gauge it from there. So I'm just adding it to the meat, and I'm just kind of like mixing it around, make sure each piece is coated so it's ready for the pot. So this is like a better, 
the view of what it looks like. I'm so hungry right now. Gotta wait. Beef takes a while to cook stew beef, so. But this is what it looks like. All right, so my pot is heated and ready to go. But oh my goodness, guys, I keep talking about how good this smells, but it really does <laughs> smell really, really good. Um, you got to do your best to remove the onions before placing your meat in the pot. Well, as much as you can try to remove the onions because you don't want the pieces to burn. And that's why I say remove them and then you can add them later. Um, I still have some in my pot, but like I said, if you can, remove the pieces, okay? This is what it looks like once it's all in the pot, it's sizzling, it, you know, all the flavors are coming together, and you're going to allow it to cook like this for a bit. Occasionally, you're going to spin it, or sorry, turn it around. I can't even speak. <laughs> you're going to, you know, kind of mix it around. Okay, so at this point, I'm just gonna be adding in some water, about a cup of water to the beef. Essentially, you wanna cover the meat, okay? It's gonna take a few hours to cook, and occasionally you will be adding water to the meat uh, whenever you see that the water is kind of, not drying out, what's the word? Reduce, once it reduces. Um, you got to just keep adding water to it, okay? Because you want to make sure the meat is cooked nice and that it's tender so the water will help it to be that way. All right, so now that my pot is bubbling, I'm going to turn it down to about a little bit more than medium, maybe like six. Five is medium, so six. All right, so I've turned it down to six, maybe. Every few maybe every 15 minutes or so I'm gonna be checking on it I'm checking to see if the water has reduced and if it has or when it does I'm gonna be adding more water because beef takes a very long time to cook and I, we like when it's really really tender all right so that's the taste that we're going for the texture sorry that we're going for tender right so it's gonna take a few hours all right, so turn off. So you can see the meat is kind of bubbling up a little bit. All the goodness that I had from before all of this, I'm just going to be adding it to the pot now. Guys, honestly, like I mentioned that I was intermittent fasting today. Today, it's a struggle for me. Like I'm fasting until 5 p.m. So I have a couple hours left, but I'm so hungry. So I'm gonna make myself a coffee. This is coffee number two. I allow myself to have liquids like when I fast. Um, I'm talking about teas, um, soda water, and of course water and coffee. So. I'm gonna make myself a coffee so that I don't finish my or end my fast earlier than 5 p.m. I'm really trying to stick it out. I'm really trying to be good this week. So I'm gonna make myself a coffee. Okay. <laughs> I got my coffee. I'm gonna have it and two more hours to go. Wish me luck. Wish me luck. <laughs> All right, guys, so the beef has been stewing for over, I would say an hour and a half now. So I'm just gonna do a little test and see if I'm able to cut through the meat, which I'm able to, right? It still needs to cook for maybe another 40 minutes. So at this point, I'm gonna be adding my vegetables. Remember the vegetables I cut up before? So I have them here. Ooh, I have some green onions. I have them here, right? So I'm gonna be adding everything except for the red peppers i'm going to add the red peppers maybe the last 10 minutes before it's done cooking that's what i'm going to be doing now all right so in here i have my carrots some scallion green onions um 
and some onions. So I'm going to be adding that right now as well as half a cup of water because remember the meat's not fully cooked yet. So I'm going to add some more water to it so it can continue cooking. So I'm just going to add my water. All right. Looking good. It smells so good. Oh my goodness. It smells amazing. All right. I'm actually going to add a little bit more water because I want the water to almost cover the meat. So I'm going to add some more water to it. So I've added some more water to the pot. This step is optional. I'm going to be adding some soya sauce in there. You don't have to, you know, you can taste the meat and if it needs more salt, this is a good way of adding more salt. You can add some soy sauce, maybe a spoon or a spoon and a half. That's what I'm going to be doing right now. I actually had my son taste it and he said it needed a little bit more salt. Okay, so I've just added some salt to it. And I'm just going to allow that to cook. And the last 20 minutes, I'm going to add the red peppers. And yeah, that will be it. So I'll check in in, uh, in about maybe uh, 30 minutes or so. We'll see how it's doing. Okay guys, so it's looking so good and smelling so good. It's almost done cooking. I'm just gonna demonstrate, show you guys. So I'm just gonna take out a piece here, all right? Look at that. All right, let me just put it on my plate. This is how you know it's almost done cooking. Look at that, look at the ease of how I can just kind of cut through the meat, all right? That's how you know it's good to go, it's almost done cooking. So the last part of this now, I'm going to be adding, remember those red peppers I cut up? I have them here, and I'm just gonna be adding them in now. I can't wait to taste this. Add in my red peppers, a little bit of onion left over there too. That's all right. Let me just kind of mix this through. I'm using my smaller tripod, so it's kind of awkward. Sorry, not getting the whole thing. Literally, I'm going to just literally leave this on for another 10 more minutes and then we are good to go. That's it, because if I leave it any longer, it's, it's just going to start falling apart. Okay, but this is how you know your beef, your stew beef is cooked. Okay, I just want to add the peppers. I'm going to turn it up a little bit higher, maybe around seven. Medium is a five, so I'm going to turn it to about seven. Turn it up, and then I'm going to turn it all the way down to two, maybe after like five minutes. That's it. All right, so right now it's there. I'm going to turn it. Sorry, all the way to yeah, seven, so it gets boiling, and then once it starts to boil again, I'm gonna just turn it down to a two. Yeah. So I have transferred this to beef from the pot into my dish this nice dish here look how good that looks guys it smells so good it's so tender it's it tastes all the flavors you can taste all the flavors from the seasoning your garlic thyme everything it came out really nicely the thing with stew beef or cooking beef is it takes time to cook. It's not something that you can rush. So you have to have patience and just wait for it to cook properly. It came out really good. I'm gonna dish it out and show you guys once it's plated.